Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing a free piece of software called MPEG Stream Clip. Now what MPEG Stream Clip is, is it's a free piece of software that will allow you to convert audio and video files to different audio and video formats. It will allow you to go ahead and change the size of a video, change all of the different settings for it to export to. It will let you download and convert stuff from a URL, and it will also let you do a little bit of basic video editing. So the application is called MPEG Stream Clip. It is a free application that's available for Mac and Windows. You can download it from this website right here which is squared5.com. I'll post this in the video's description. So as you can see here we have a download link for the Mac version and the Windows version. In my previous video which was showing you guys how to do something in Final Cut Express then uh, I showed you guys me using MPEG Stream Clip. Well now I thought I'd give you guys a full length review of MPEG Stream Clip. So let's go ahead and get started. So download it from the website before, then go ahead and launch it up after you install it. And then it should look like this. As you can see here, very basic interface. It has all the different controls down here at the bottom, as well as the file commands at the top. It says it's from squared5.com right here. And you get this little, um, it looks like a dice kind of logo thingy. So I'm not going to go too in-depth. I'll show you most of the features, but if I don't hit anything, then feel free to point it out in the comments or leave a video response. And if I screw up during this video, don't mind me. This is like the fourth time I've taken this video. So anyway, let's go ahead and show you MPEG Stream Clips. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open some video files. So I'm going to go to File, Open Files, and I'm going to choose Big Fluffy Monster Intro.mov, which is an intro that I made earlier this morning in Adobe After Effects for my YouTube channel that I created for no reason and have no idea what videos I'm going to post on it. So if we go over here to the videos tab, as you can see here, here are all the different files you can go ahead and import with it. As you notice, WMV is not on there. Actually, one of the times that I screwed up taking this video was because I tried to use a WMV file and I didn't know because I rarely use WMV files anyway. Then here's all the audio files that you can use and so on and so forth. Now let's just go ahead and open up the intro. And this is what it looks like. So as you notice, we have a basic window. We have play controls. We have all of these different controls down here. You can scroll back, forward, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I'm just going to stop, pause it, and I'm going to play the intro from the beginning to show you guys what I did. And I made this video in Adobe After Effects this morning. I used the uh, videocopilot.net energetic titles tutorial, which used the sure target effect. So just... Um, telling you guys right there. I'm actually quite proud of it. Thank you very much. And so anyway, now I can show you guys some of the stuff that I can do. So up here in the file menu, we can open files, open a URL, open a DVD, or close. Opening a URL will let you copy and paste in a URL, and you can choose to open it, convert it, download it, do a progressive download, or random access. So to show you, Here's the intro I uploaded to YouTube, Big Fluffy Monster. And if you want to check out the channel that I really have done nothing on and really have no idea what I'm doing, it's Big Fluffy Monster 01. But I really don't know what I'm going to do with it. I made it because the name sounded cool and I wanted to reserve it. So yeah. But I'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy this URL up here. Oops, don't want to maximize the window. And I'm going to go and uh, paste it in. And you can choose to open, convert, or download. Yeah. Okay, so now that I went ahead and showed you that, you can go ahead and feel free to mess around with those features any way you want to. Now I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and do some basic editing. So I said you could do some basic editing in this. Well, to show you, if we go up to edit, you have the options to trim, cut, copy, paste, select all, select in, select out, cancel selection, go to keyframe time, delete audio track, and all this kind of stuff. So I'm just going to show you how to trim a video and make it smaller. So let's just say I want everything in this intro but I want it up to here. So I'm just going to go up to edit, select out, and this is everything that will be selected. Then I just have to go to edit, trim. And if I go ahead and play it, as you notice, it will play much faster. It'll play all of the meat in the intro basically, if intros had meat. But as you notice, it will cut out the parts that I choose to trim. I can go ahead and undo that if I want to, or I can go ahead and delete the audio if this thing had audio. And I can go ahead and uh, just do some basic editing in here. This is meant to just do some basic editing, just in case you want to, you know, free up some time before you actually go into the main video editor. So, once you have all of that, now we can go ahead and export. So, I'm going to go up here, and you can choose to either export to QuickTime, export to DV, AVI, MPEG4, audio, other formats, or export frame. Export frame, what it'll do is it'll bring up these options, and you can choose either 4x3, 16x9, unscaled, or other dimensions. You can choose to save it as a JPEG, TIFF, or PNG. 
I'm just not going to do that right now. And I'm going to show you the export setting. So here's what export to QuickTime looks like. As you notice, very awesome window up here. You can choose your compression type, choose your options up here. You can choose your video size, so you can choose to resize it if you want to. You can choose the different audio, and you can even go down here and set presets, just in case you like the settings that you had and you want to use them over again. And that's pretty much it. And now I'm just going to show you me actually exporting something. So I can go and I can go to export to other formats. I can choose either QuickTime Movie or something else. I can choose the options in here. I can choose the settings. Maybe H.264 is good for me. Video size. Choose 1280x720. Deinterlace. Okay. And I could even move the quality up if I wanted to. 1280x720, that's fine. Then you just click OK choose where to save it to, click save, and then it will export. But I'm not going to show you guys exporting it because this file that I'm using is actually sort of a big file and I don't want to pause the video again because, um, well, you know, my computer has been being slow lately. So yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the software. It's called MPEG Stream Clip. There's certainly more than I've mentioned to it, but however, I thought I'd give you guys a brief introduction, and I thought I'd make you guys want to try this out. It's a good piece of software. I've been using it for a long time. I hope you guys enjoy it too. You can download it for absolutely free for squared5.com for either Mac or Windows. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Leave any suggestions for more videos you want to see me do in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.